The, one of the biggest you can see um, with the naked eye, actually, is Betelgeuse, or Betelgeuse, in Orion. Um, and that, so that's the red star um, in, in the constellation of Orion, at the shoulder of Orion. And um, what's interesting about that is if you put it where the Earth is, then it would extend out pretty much to the orbit of Jupiter, I think even beyond the orbit of Jupiter. So if you imagine how far it is to Jupiter, that would be orbiting inside the star. And it's so big that we can see sunspots on the surface with telescopes here on Earth. So it's a vast star. But that, that isn't. That's a star at the end of its life that's swollen up. I don't have in my head the number for the most massive star or the biggest star. But there, there are stars that are really literally the size of solar systems. Well, they have very short lifetimes. That's the thing. So the, the more massive the star is, so you're talking about as you said, a star, let's say, 10,000 times the mass of the sun, then it has to burn its fuel extremely quickly to stay up against the force of gravity. 